Jason is an abuser. He hasn't gotten his fix in several months due to having a live-in hug boxer girlfriend during that period of time. Things eventually went sour, and he's back to being in a monogamous relationship with his right hand again. And more importantly, free to torture helpless shit pig hamsters once again. One day, Jason drives his beat-up pickup truck next to an alleyway on the other side of town. <laughs> Babies need hush. Oh, I'm so lonely. My special friend left, and the only thing that can make me feel better is some huggies from Fluffies. Oh, if only there was a Fluffy family that would come give me hugs and come live in my nice warm house so they could eat skeddies with me. Original clan, mister. Fluffy and baby will give her huggies and love. Please, be me daddy for mama and baby. God damn that foal is fat as At least twice the size of the other foals, with rolls of fat on it. The fatness on it seemed to swallow at least half of its legs and tail. The fat purple Pegasus colt looks up at Jason and bellows out a happy series of chirps and peeps, then slowly waddles over to its mother and rapidly suckles from her crotch. The other foals are chattering away, already talking. But the fat one is still chirping and peeping. Must be retarded. They all look barely a week old, at most. Look at you! You're too fat to breathe! Please, new dada, keep back mama with a sensitive baby. That baby can sensitive. He needs to be with mama or baby cries. That give mama too many hot hoodies. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. Shh, wait a sense, baby. You mute. Mama here. After everything calms down, Jason loads them all up into his beat up truck and drives them home. He then introduces them to his makeshift safe room. The Fluffies react as though they are living in a billion dollar mansion, thanking him over and over, like they just won the oh, fucking sweepstakes. That's the safe room ever. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. So pretty and nice. Jason lets them all settle in for several days until he figures out what horrible thing he wants to do to them. Jason watches the foals play with the cheap ass toys, watches them sleep, and nurse from their mother. Especially the fat purple one, who always feeds three times longer than the others. That baby is fat because you let him drink most of your milk. You're spoiling okay, him. Because that her mama's weird as sensitive baby. The foals and the mama have been doing a perfect job of pissing and shitting in the litter box, so no punishment required there. Jason hopes one of them will slip up, especially the lard Every time the fat purple Pegasus foal has to piss or shit, it bellows out a series of chirps and peeps to let its mama know, and she picks it up and places it in the litter box until it's done. She even sings the fucking litter box song to it while it pisses and shits. The fat fuck smiles and makes happy chirps and peeps while she sings for him. One day, Jason hears the fat fuck loudly squealing, scaredy chirps and peeps, and its mama and siblings babbling in hysterics. He rushes into the safe room to find the fat fuck has gotten stuck in a hamster tube. Little stuff, baby, please! Daddy, please! Daddy's scared! Daddy's scared! I need to be with mama! Hey, stay in the safe room. But daddy, this is the baby need to be with mama. <laughs> I need to be able to do some human magic to be able to get this baby out. You fluffy need to stay here and watch safe room while I'm gone. <laughs> Jason takes the fat tubed foal into the kitchen with him on the other side of the house. The fat little fuck is scared and squealing loudly from being away from its mama. The foal is glancing all around the room, 
hoping to catch a glance of her, to no avail. He rapidly bellows out scaredy chirps and peeps, but Mama isn't around to hear them. The bull glances all around the room for Mama, tears streaming down his cheeks. But she is nowhere to be found. After Jason stops his assault, the foal stops screeching long enough to bellow out a loud series of rapid chirps and peeps to alert its mother to its plight. But it's all in vain. She's too far away and locked up in the safe room to hear. These will do nicely. Duck foal is now squirming around like crazy, trying its best to free itself from the tube in its pain. To no avail. Hold still. Jason repeats the process for the other front hoof. What's wrong with Mama's little fantasy baby? Baby, I'm scared. I have many owies. Baby, I'm still stuckies. I am Mama's little sensitive baby still stuckies. The only way to free your baby is to feed it all your milkies. Every day. It's the only way to free it. If your baby is full of all your milkies, milkies inside of it will make it slide out of the tube. But it has to drink all your milkies. Your other foals can't have but, any. But Mama's other little babies need to drink milkies. Babies, you terrible tummy always without Mama's milkies. Please, Daddy. Sorry, girl. It's the only way to save your little sensitive baby. You need to feed him all your milkies. No exceptions. Just until he breaks free. <laughs> Jason quickly snatches up her other foals and places them in the large open toy chest. No, get back, baby, to mama. Baby, to mama. Baby, to mama. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Feed your sensitive baby. Once he's freed, you can have the other babies back. Uh. Jason has some special kibble in his garage. A fattening kibble. It's meant to fatten up foals through making the milk produced through the mare to be ultra high in calories. Jason grabs the bag of kibble, then heads to his bedroom to pick up it that his ex-girlfriend left behind in his dresser. He then heads back to the safe room. The mare is now feeding her fat tube full with tears streaming down her eyes. The foal makes her heat sound every few seconds as it feeds to the needle stuck in its legs. Now, this food is special. It will give you the bestest milkies for your sensitive baby. Make sure to eat it all. Bring around for me, okay? Right, Daddy. Daddy needs to put something in your poopy place to help you make no, milkies faster. Poopy plate, Daddy. That plate empty for poopies. <laughs> Don't be a bad mama. This is for your baby's benefit. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Jason shoves <laughs> even totally plugging it up. Poopy plate, Daddy. <laughs> no way. No way. You have to bear it, girl, if you truly love your little babies. <laughs> Jason leaves the safe room and only returns once a day to refill her kibble. Days pass. With each passing day, the fat tube foal gets fatter and fatter, his breathing becomes labored, and the tube around him begins squeezing him like a vice. His eyes are even starting to bug out. With each passing day, the mare pleads with him over and over to let her make poopies. Daddy, I'm dead. 
tail for Tubby Ellie. Me my poopy. Me my poopy so bad. We take the other poopy poopy. Her stomach is horribly bloated from all the backed up shit. Jason, who used to take out the dick. With the each passing day, the foals in the toy chest get weaker and weaker, crying endlessly for milkies. Each passing day, Jason stares down at them, wasting away in their toy chest, and yells at them, No milkies! No milkies! No milkies! On the fourth day, Jason enters the safe room to the mayor crying hysterically. Her weetle, sensitive baby, is finally dead, crushed by the tube around its body. Its eyes are bulged out, its tongue is hanging out, blood seeping from both. There are huge cracks in the tube from where the rapidly expanding foal was crushed. Mom is waiting to see the new baby no more, no more. Baby no longer make two pieces of baby for mama. Mama is no more. Mom is waiting to see the new baby two people have three pieces. Wow. Looks like you really were too fat to breathe. Mayor quickly pleads to make poopies again. She's close to entering septic shock from the looks of her. When she is not crying for her dead foal, she is screaming from horrific intestinal pain. Please, Daddy, can Mama please make poopies now? <laughs> Jason shakes his head no. Nah. <laughs> Get mama, get other babies milkies <laughs> Which do you want more? To make poopies or to feed your babies? You can't have both. If you make poopies, you will never get to feed your babies. And they will take forever sleepies. Decide wisely. <laughs> Mama was saving with a baby. They was in Mama's stomach for so long. <laughs> Good baby. The foals rapidly, greedily drink her milk with gusto. until their bellies literally burst from the strain. <laughs> Babies! No! The mare Babies. is in absolute hysterics, <laughs> screaming for her dead foals and for the blockage of shit in her intestines. Babies! Don't go No! You made your choice. Live with it. Jason laughs as he leaves the safe room, locking the door behind him. He returns two days later to find the mare dead from septic shock, with a look of horrific agony frozen on her dead face, cuddling next to her dead foals, which now have ants and flies buzzing around them.